Yeah, this is really unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know if Chuck can even still hear us. Alright, so A finally took Thunderbird, although I don't know who I'm talking to besides you now. Well, um, the stream's back, so I'm assuming chat. Yeah, they're saying now we can, they can hear us. Oh, okay. All right. So that was not That's on good. my end. I imagine this was just a bridge glitch or something, because OBS was completely fine the entire time. Um, glad it's back now. Yeah. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Um. All right. So A A uh, killed Thunderbird, and then you took it up an A after Thunderbird. So. Uh, restarted the palace with full health and life count, basically. And, and meanwhile, BGT has placed all his crystals, so yep. I think he's gonna be like four and a half to five minutes behind AA. Yeah. Probably closer to five. <laughs> right, he has to first get on to Maze Island. Yeah, I really love that uh, that little uh, move that happened to AA there. He uh, damage boosted off of one uh, a sword that the Bird Knight threw at him and then uh, blocked another one with his shield on the rebound. So it looked kind of funny. While falling. Yeah. <laughs> BGT doing some uh, pretty nice uh, fairy feet there to get through and get to Great Palace a little faster than AA did, but he's still over five minutes behind the time that uh, AA had in Dream. I wouldn't know if he's totally frozen now. Oh. Oh, still good here. Okay, one of us at least. <laughs> Yeah, AA's found the, the fairy room, so he's got a up or down choice here as well as uh, a refill, which he's gonna grab. Uh, BGT will be coming up on Thunderbird pretty soon. Yeah, definitely don't want to take that left there. Let's uh, see what's up and yeah, take this right instead. Although the left could be good. We haven't seen the leftward drop yet, so... Uh, BGT, now on to Thunderbird. Uh, no, BGT's not done yet. Things can definitely happen in Great Palace. They could game over, BGT could just find a much more efficient route to Dark Link. Gotta kind of wait this out and see what happens. And he's even able to cast life on Thunderbird. Wow. Didn't end up needing it, but... Uh... Yeah, hey, he's got, uh... Well, it looks like this is his main rightward path here. The only left he's got left, I think, at this point is that one at the bottom of the, the ferry elevator. Oh, and this is a loop! It's just a loop. That I don't know if he skipped some other uh, elevator back there. Oh, no! <laughs> That's not a good place to be. Yeah, there must be another elevator or something back here that A can take. Oh, he's got to go back through this fun room. Or a waffle room, rather. It is fun, though. Uh, 
Yeah, BGT is done with Thunderbird, so... You know, he's... He's in play here. He's just... It, like, if... Ugh. He could not take this whole loop that AA took, but uh, I don't know if there's some other alternate path before the fairy room that uh, AA could have taken and declined. Uh, I would just take a death here and get it over with. Looks like AA's, or BGT's found the fairy room as well. BGT is almost certainly going to find that same loop that AA just found. Oh, a 1-up drop. That's pretty nice. That might be enough to see the way for AA, really. Let's kind of see what happens. I've lost track of how many lives he currently has. Uh, well, he lost one and he got it back, so he's got back up to three. Okay, I wasn't sure if he'd lost two. Yeah. I'm guessing that this drop is correct. We might want to take a look to the right first, though. Oh, there's uh, Dark Link. Never mind that drop. Must have been an alternate path that uh, had that drop destination at it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, just about GG's now. AA makes a nice late game comeback because for the first hour or so he was behind. Yeah, yeah, he definitely was. Though he had six done and six was a bit of a mess. Um, but BGT did clean it up much more quickly than AA did, especially with his better levels. Uh, I think it just came down to uh, efficiency and routing that. Uh, last hunt for a reflect. Yeah, well, I mean, a bit of dumb luck, too, because BGT got the trophy, which meant that he then went back to Rudo, and that turned out to eat up a little bit of time. Yeah, I don't... That doesn't account for the difference by itself. No, uh, it doesn't account for five had, minutes, but... Yeah. BGT also had uh, game overs at, uh, at Barba and at uh, Guma, I believe. Even though he had those passed down and got back to them fairly quickly. Um, you know, that's still not something you want to have happen. Uh, uh, actually, up or down at Ferry doesn't matter, but you have to go one of those ways. Uh, this way back here is just going to be a lawn dead end. What's up, Sleepy Boy? For BGT. It's going to lead to a, a drop destination. Oh, and we have Amazing Ampharos in here with us, GG. Uh, thanks. That, uh, wasn't my finest work, but I guess it worked out. <laughs> well, you, you had a nice come from behind there. Yeah, did you feel like uh, it was rough for the first, let's say, half or hour of the seed and then improve from there? I mean, everything was pretty much terrible as soon as Fairy wasn't castable at Magic 2 with a Magic container, oh which God, I don't know the like numeric probability of that. It has to be under 10%. That was horribly unlucky. Yeah, I, I, I don't usually see spells that, you know, the cost doesn't go down from Magic 1 to Magic 2. Yeah, like, it wouldn't be that surprising with, like, Thunder or something, like but Fairy, when it was already, like, 85's a high roll, and then it's still just 85 at Magic 2, that's really bad, especially because the start of the seed, the only things you could do were go through the Fairy Cave, which I tried twice, and it just wasn't going to happen. Attack 2 was a total butter knife. You just couldn't kill anything with it. Or cross Saria, 
Bagu's letter might have been in one of the million forest tiles, but they're not worth checking. Yeah, not when you already have the fairy spell, especially. I hit him. You Will don't want to resort to that. Especially with the, know you know, the fifth is. magic container. Stay yeah. Levels. Shithead. So I just went into six. I'm like, I have to get magic three. There's just... There's nothing to do other than grind magic three. And uh, the overworld's full of bad enemies that aren't giving good experience. Go. So, I mean, iron knuckles are easy, right? So, oh. <laughs> there was a pretty early raft, as I recall. Yeah, the seed really opened up when you made it, when you got fairy castable and made it to the north part of the west continent, because then raft was in two, and that was just pretty free. Uh, I'd say uh, before you got the raft, uh, three things kind of played into BGT's favor a bit. Um, he got through that that fairy cave before you did you were both trying to go through it at the same time and, and he made it where you game over it um and then he, he also like got to the key before you did because of your game over in that cave as well i was a little uh uh disappointed maybe that you didn't like kill the daira in um that uh medicine, or uh, not medicine, but magic dark cave, and then uh, go back out and refill your health so that you didn't take that game over before getting that item there. I was pretty sure I was going to make it. Okay. That enemy being a bl blue uh, moblin there was... It's the only enemy that could have been in that spot to kill me. I was pretty sure I was safe if it was anything else. I was looking to react to a red Dyra axe. I got a spear in the knee that was really uh, heartbreaking. Yeah, so you were okay until you took that spear to the knee? Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, my early game was a train wreck. And then a lot of my decisions in the back half of the game were completely revolving around where is P4. Like, there was some other unfortunate stuff. Like, GP being where it was, I was really hoping that was one or three, but I would have been okay with five. I was like, just don't be four or GP. Then it was GP. Never got the second <laughs> item in the maze. I know where it is in the maze, but it wasn't worth going back for. It was not. It, it was a hard container. Yeah, and I knew, like, the medicine is somewhere in the east. It must have been one of the two items in New Casuto. I have no idea where the trophy is. I was feeling like I needed an item to access a spell. It turned out that was the hammer. Would have been really nice if it had been the kid, because, you know, I just charged into six very early. Yeah, um, the, uh, trophy was in P5. Uh, BGT got the hint for it, of course, that's always available. And, uh, it was actually really easy to get. Um, it, this P5 was exceedingly generous, given the, the length that, uh, you had to go through for either the, the boss or the trophy. It was not much if you just followed, like, the the standard meta from start. Um, and but, for all that, it was the life spell. Which yeah. then, in turn, would put fire in uh, Mido, and I have no idea what fire is paired with. It's not thunder, because I cast thunder and didn't get a fireball, so it doesn't really matter, I get. Yeah, it, fire either has to be um, spell or um... Uh, maybe it could be fairy. I don't know if you guys could could have been fairy. Yeah, it it could definitely be fairy, but maybe it could be reflect too. I don't know if you guys stabbed while you were fighting uh, uh, Karak. Yeah, I wasn't really uh, worried about the fire spell at that point in the game because you know obviously when I was fighting, reflect was go mode, of course. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I might have spent too much time in service of experience this seed. I just kind of felt like I was set up to get really high levels pretty easily. And if I if I caved and took that magic in life, especially after I declined to do so when going through P6, I was going to end at really bad levels and I didn't know how bad GP was going to be. 
So, uh, something that would have worked out better for you is uh, something that VGT did. Um, he was killing a lot more things in the West, um, so he got a lot of experience both from uh, the, the 500 bags were dropping pretty readily, actually, and uh, you didn't seem to get a lot of those until later because of skipping more enemies, maybe, and uh, also um, the game overs that you had, I guess. And, yeah, uh, they must have been really deep in the drop queue, because, I mean, I killed just a ton of random enemies on the way, and I saw very few drops, and a lot of the drops I did see just weren't good. I saw 500 pee bags from large and smalls when doing P2, but, I mean, they just had to be so late in the queue, oh, I guess just wasn't bots. rolling to them very often. Yeah, I suppose. Um... The, the other thing is that, uh, like, you you started attacking Red Dyra, and you had it, like, almost dead, and you decided it wasn't safe or something, and headed to the right instead. And those Red Dyers were worth 200 each, so that was uh, pretty nice early XP for BGT as well. I mean, that Red Dyra was the only Red Dyra I saw all seed, actually. Yeah. And he, I mean, that was basically when I was like, you know... It's not just I've run into high health enemies. This is a butter sword. And not the butter sword that makes you win. This is just... It's a butter knife. You're doing nothing to any enemy. I just need to avoid fighting and get levels from palaces. Um, but by the way, BGT has finally uh, gotten Dark here. Hopefully he will be joining us shortly. So I guess the story of the seed is his early game was not a train wreck, whereas mine was, but I gained a lot of time in the back half, I guess, just charging through the palaces. Yeah, I'd say actually P4. Yeah, uh, like, he got the medicine and turned, or not the medicine, but the trophy, and he turned that in. That took some time. It took a little t longer to get oh, to right. uh, the kid. No, um, you had the kid really early, like you said, so that did help you in a way. Is this a fucking emote yet? No. Yeah, um... Oh man, Palace 6 too. That, that kind of probably compounded on my early game, where it was like... I saw every inch of Palace 6, often quite a few times. So, 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 sorry, just to digress here, what is this soft lock that BGT got himself into, Captain Fairy, after beating Dark Link? I've never seen this before. Uh, he did it probably last time, too. Oh. It's, it, it's exactly what it looks like. You cast Fairy after beating Dark Link, and it's a but, soft but lock. You, I guess you still count as finishing at that point, right? I guess so. I, I'm not going to throw a fit. It's not working. Uh, I mean, the bot declared that he finished. The bot did because he did that done. The bot does not check oh. the play. Oh, I said, I, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, it, after beating Dark Link, the game automatically finishes unless you stop it anyway, so it's immaterial. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's certainly less material than like walking across the bridge to reach the Triforce room in yeah. <laughs> the past which is pretty free as well but can still be failed I've failed it exactly once <laughs> but yeah thanks for the commentary and restream uh, hope that was an interesting one I certainly showed off that the bracket flags are just a little less friendly than the Swiss flags, I think, is kind of a story of that scene. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, the yeah. randomized attack really makes a difference. Yeah, I think that's a, a big thing. And then we had the mixed large and small, of course, uh, playing a role at some points, and... Uh, of course, you had uh, some tougher caves to deal with in the West at the start with no candle. So all of those little things add up. But uh, 
thanks for the race. It was enjoyable to watch. Um, looks like it was ended up being about a 10 minute lead. You had about a, a little over yeah, five minutes. Yeah, almost exactly. You had a little over five minutes edge going into GP and extended that there. But uh, yeah, it was a good race. GG. Uh, thanks to Trez for the restream, and uh, we had a uh, Bleeding Blue 11 doing the tracking for us. Yeah, BGT is not joining us, so okay. I, I don't know if Trez wants to go over tomorrow's schedule. Uh, I am sure we'll have more races of all sorts. All weekend, probably on these channels, Ocarina of Time Randomizer, Zelda 2 Randomizer, Link to the Past Randomizer. Um, yeah, I think that we have a cross keys race scheduled for tomorrow as well. And Ampro, I guess you're going on to face level engine round now? Hello? Oh, I guess we lost AA here. Oh, he must have hopped out at some point. Oh. But yes, as far as uh, I can tell, he is going on to uh, face Level Engine in the next round. Yeah, Level Engine is interesting. Uh, I don't think he's as big of a name as the other higher seeds, but he's uh, certainly a capable player and we'll definitely give AA a, a good match. And this is a double elimination tournament, so BGT isn't out of it either. Right. I don't know if he has his opponent determined yet or not. I don't remember how seedings work in the loser's bracket. Winner's bracket's a lot easier to calculate. But yeah, I think that'll do it for tonight. Uh, thank everyone for joining us. Yeah, thanks so much, everyone. Have a great night. Um, and we'll see you around next Yeah, have a good night. And uh, as Jay Coper said, be sure to tune in all weekend.